Did I, did I say something to make you uh, uncomfortable? Yeah, you did. I mean, I, I don't want to hear about your personal life. I mean, when it comes to Michael Morgan and Christina, <laughs> maybe. But, you know, keep the rest to yourself, especially about Brenda. <laughs> what do you mean, especially about Brenda? You guys stop me when I do that? Asking you too many questions like we have a relationship that we don't have yet? See, I just said yet. I'm not gonna give up on us being a family, no matter what I you really say. Wish, I really wish you would. Really? Well, that's I'm not going to. And but it's not right of me to pour the feelings I have for Brenda all over you. And the thing is, she makes me happy. I just wanted to share it with someone. For how long? What do you mean? Well, you know I. I get that everything's all new and exciting right now and, you know, fraught with your tortured past, but what happens when it becomes routine? You're just gonna get on your nerves. You're gonna be bored. <laughs> That's not what I'm doing. What do you mean? Look, I get how much you care about her. And if, if you guys can build love out of ruins and hey, more power to you. But she's a special woman, so just be mindful and careful Keep her happy. Leave me out of it. Good to see you, hey, Dad. Good to see you. Thanks for meeting me here. I mean, isn't this great that we can just see each other whenever we want? Yeah, it's great. Now, listen, I gotta, I gotta, I'd love to see you, but I gotta meet Brenda. Is this an emergency? Uh, I don't know, Dad. You tell me. What? Look, I, I know that uh, being with Brendan makes you happy. I can, I can see that. It's great. I've never seen you so happy. But um, I keep thinking about what you told me. Mm -hmm. Remember when you said that you and Brenda love each other too much? Uh, if two people are bad for each other, you can't just will that away, right? Carly put you up to this. I know she No, did. she didn't. <clears throat> I haven't even talked to mom about Brenda. It's not that. It's, <laughs> all right, it's, all it's right. just a lot of time has passed. Yeah. Right. And um, what if you get back together with Brenda and you realize you don't feel the same way? Okay. Right? Stop. Stop right there. You shouldn't be worrying about me. I'm your dad. I'm the one that, that should be worrying about you. I'm fine. And I'm fine. Okay. With Brenda and I, we we got a second chance, and we're gonna take it. Uh, she knows you're coming. So I should expect her downstairs in about, what, two, three hours? <laughs> you can go knock on the door if you want. I might have go up there because I know it's just going to make it worse. But it gives us time to talk. Uh, about what? You did a security check? Yep. Satisfied? Yeah, I mean, if you have to take Brenda someplace, it's acceptable. Now it's your turn. <sighs> Uh, my turn for what? Well, I've heard it from uh, Michael, Dante, Carly two or three times that, you know, it's a mistake to be with Brenda because she's going to hurt me, I'm going to hurt her, leave the past in the past. Well, it doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks except for you and Brenda, right? I appreciate you saying that because, you know, we have been friends for a long time. But if you got an opinion willing to hear it. Well, you know, uh, I mean, I, I used to believe that if something was over, it was done. You know, you just let it go. Hopefully you can move on. You can learn something. But when you love someone and it goes wrong for whatever reason, I just thought if you're going to try again, you're kind of setting yourself up for disappointment. That was then. What about now? Well, you know, with Sam and I, it didn't work the first time. But we got another chance. With everything that went wrong, we still found we still found out there was love there, and we tried again. Right. And I'm, I'm grateful for it. So I can't sit here and judge you and Brenda. How does she feel about Brenda invading your life? She hates it. I mean, she puts up with it. She doesn't complain about it. If you ain't brought Brenda back, you know, this wouldn't be happening. I know. I just I just wanted to keep her safe. I understand. You know? And I appreciate that, and I and I'm, I promise you, as soon as the danger's over, 
I'm gonna get Brenda out of here. That would be good. Hey, have you seen my cell? Oh, here it is. <clears throat> hey, how long have you been waiting? How I've... long? Oh, well, I, why didn't you tell me you were here? Well, we were actually we were just talking yeah. about you. Oh, that's good. What are you guys yeah. saying? Well, he just said he's gonna get you out of here as soon as he can. Where are we going? Can I see you first? I don't even change the subject. <laughs> What are you going to say next? That I was worth the wait? Always. Where are we going? It's a surprise. I like surprises. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, darling. It's completely pitch black. I can't see anything. Where are we going? Out near Monroe Woods. Why? Mm -hmm. Uh, think about it. You'll figure it out. Mm, I kind of remember that we used to fantasize together about our dream house. Right. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. The house mm -hmm. that we used to talk about with all the glass and wood and the stone heated floors? What'd you do? What'd you do? What did you do? <laughs> I didn't do anything. This house is amazing. I thought you'd like it. You'd I like love it. it. <laughs> it's perfect. Sinking. I'm sinking fast. Ah! <gasps> what do you think? Oh my god. How'd, how'd you do this? What do you mean? I just, uh, I just want to get some stuff. Did stretch. you buy this? At least with option. Um, we. Wait a minute, this is too extravagant. You know, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't need to do this, right? I don't, I don't need you to do stuff like this for no, me. I wanted a place that we can call ours because we never had it before and we can have it now. You sure? I've never been more sure about anything in my life. Ain't there. Ties that never end will bring us home again.